What's up everybody? As usual, I hope you're doing awesome out there. Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we are gonna be talking about protecting your investment, protecting your gear. If you're anything like me, Gear protection is probably one of the last things you think about unless you're really smart and then you think about it right away. But none of us really think about our gear getting damaged. But it is something that subconsciously should be in our minds all the time. Again, if you're anything like me, you're not sponsored, you're working on a budget, you're doing the best you can do, whether you're making money from your film production or you're saving money and you're a hobbyist and you're reinvesting that money uh, into gear so you can continue to enjoy the hobby of filmmaking, it's really, really important to protect that investment. Whether you're just out and about shooting some photos or shooting some video in town, something like a soft case like this is good for holding lenses and a couple of camera bodies and some other things, but it is soft. It's not necessarily uh, all that protective, uh, but it does add a level of protection that you may not have if you're just walking around carrying all that stuff or uh, you know, have your lenses in a grocery bag or something like that. <laughs> fanny pack? You keep your camera bodies in a fanny pack? Who carries around a grocery bag? I don't know. I'm just saying, like, yeah. I'm just saying, like, this example of a soft case is better than a grocery bag, right? Camera, like, this isn't the greatest protection, but it's protection nonetheless. And your it's, camera bodies and lenses usually go in your wife's purse. That's true. I have done that several times. If your wife's purse is not available, please pick up a soft case. What was I talking about? So there are a lot of companies out there that make hard cases, make soft cases, make all sorts of camera protection equipment. I have a few examples here today um, from a couple of different brands. I uh, wanna start by talking about some smaller cases and this is a Pelican brand case. Cases like this 1040 case are really nice to have for transporting things like memory cards, um, card readers, hard drives, anything that's small, that's delicate electronics that you wanna put in here to transport. Um, this is waterproof, so if you're filming somewhere where there's rain or snow or something like that, and you wanna make sure your hard drives, or you can even throw your keys in here, or sunglasses, your phone, whatever else you wanna keep protected while you're on set, this is a great option for something like that. So I've got another example of a Pelican case here. This is a Pelican 1510 case. These are carry-on size, which is really nice, and they come in a variety of configurations with how they're set up inside. This one here has the foam pieces that you can Velcro and re-stick and move around and there's a whole bunch of different compartments you can create all on your own. Or you can have the uh, pluck foam option, which um, some people like, some people don't like. I'm not a huge fan of the pluck foam because it kind of limits your ability to change up the way you want the case laid out over time, but they are great and it is an easy way to have some form fitting things for lenses and bodies and things like that to travel. Did I mention that they were airline? Travel. They're travel size. So the other cool thing with these 1510 cases being travel size is they are airline regulation, um, at least for every airline that I'm aware of, for overhead uh, traveling or the overhead bins on an airplane. Uh, I've traveled with these cases several times and put this and even some slightly larger ones in an overhead compartment and I've never had any sort of issue with anything fitting. These Pelican 1510 cases also have a couple of different options for handles. They've got the retractable one, so as you're walking through the airport or walking onto set or whatever, you can be towing this behind you using the handle, obviously wheels on the bottom, uh, and overall they're just really, really great cases for the money. Pelican is a very high quality brand and has been making this type of, of stuff for a long time. So there's another uh, high quality brand, they're a little bit more cost effective than Pelican for the size, and that is the Seahorse brand cases, like this case that I have here behind me that's all sticker blasted and has Aaron Film spray painted on it. Uh, that case I've had longer than the Pelican cases. I've also traveled with that one and put it in overhead bins. It's a nice case, that one that I have there came with the pluck foam in it. I've since kind of rearranged and redone the foam inside it because I changed some things up. I know that these types of cases can add up quickly and become costly, especially if you have a lot of equipment. So there are some options out there. Craigslist and OfferUp, I've found great values uh, for hard cases. I actually have a very large 24 by 24. It is 24 by 24, right? I also have a really large 24 by 24 Pelican case that I picked up off of OfferUp for really cheap. I want to say it was like 65 or 70 bucks when I bought it. And that that case is several hundred dollars, I think four or five hundred dollars new. So you can find some really great deals. And the cool thing is, um, most of these used cases you're gonna find online are not too beat up because these things are designed to withstand and, and take a beating and protect your gear. So if you get lucky and find something on OfferUp or Craigslist that fits the size of your needs, most likely it's probably gonna be in pretty decent shape. And even if it does have some scratches and stuff on the outside, 
it really doesn't matter. What matters is that the gear inside is gonna stay protected. So again, I cannot stress how important it is to protect your investment. You never know when something's gonna happen. Please guys, protect your gear, protect your investment, so that way you can continue to do what you love to do like I do, which is filmmaking and video production. Thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And turn that bell on for notifications so you know when we post something new, and we will see you on the next video. Take care.